Cucarodon hubbly, also known as Hubble's white shark, is an extinct species of white shark that lived between 8 to 5 million years ago during the late Miocene and early Pliocene epochs. The shark is a transitional species, showing intermediate features between present day great whites and smaller prehistoric mako sharks. The shark was named in honor of Gideon Hubble, the shark expert who recovered the specimen from a farmer who found it in 1988 in recognition for his contribution to shark paleontology at the donating the specimen to the Florida Museum of Natural History in the year 2009. According to that museum, these remains are the most complete fossilized skull of an early great white known to exist. This is because sharks are generally made of cartilage instead of bone and are thus harder to fossilize than bone. This is why most prehistoric sharks are known only from teeth or fragmentary remains, as in the case of Megalodon. In the March 2009 issue of the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology, Dana Eret, a Florida Museum researcher and his colleagues, further determined that the shark was 20 years old when it died by counting white and dark bands in the shark's vertebrae, which calcify with age. Such bands have been shown to represent seasonal changes in modern sharks. This was tested in the fossil by examining differences in the isotopic composition of the dark and white bands. According to this, a modern gray white shark of similar age likely would have been larger, suggesting that this fossil species grew at a slower rate. It was found at the Pisco Formation, an area once rich in aquatic life ranging from sea turtles to megalodon. Prior to this discovery, it was believed that great whites were descended from or related to megalodon and megatooth sharks. However, Cosmopolidotus, the broad toothed mako, was currently suspected to be the ancestor of the great white genus. While megalodon coexisted with these sharks, it was not an ancestor. Instead, it was reclassified as part of the Ododont family with its own ancestor, a species known as Cretolamna. Cacaramotus eshri, also known as the serrated mako, was also once thought to be a potential ancestor, but the discovery renders this more unlikely. Like its modern relative, Hubble's white sharks likely played a similar role in keeping populations of seals, small cetaceans, and fish in check as a keystone predator, though Megalodon was probably above them on the food chain. And other odonts were either above or competing with the white sharks. Laminates such as Carcharomotus, the aforementioned serrated or estrous mako shark, and possibly even their own suspected ancestor, Cosmopolidotus, could have been competitors depending on where they lived. Odinus chibatensis, a close relative of Megalodon that overlapped in size with that species, was likely a competitor of the Hubble's white shark, though it and Megalodon probably specialized in whale hunting. Modern great whites were contemporary with the Hubble's white shark, and the two may have been competitors, knowing their modern niche. The giant predatory sperm whale Leviathan competed with the giant sharks, including both Megalodon and the white sharks. Aquaphysida, a smaller, agile predatory sperm whale, may have also competed with the white sharks or been eaten. Six gear sharks without the sight, while they could grow longer than the white sharks, they live in deep water. Other contemporary species include Phylacycnus, an aquatic sloth, Atocetus, a type of dolphin. Odobinus tops, a strange tusked whale related to narwhals, as well as Brachydelphus, another dolphin, Hemicentriculus quitesi, another extinct dolphin with a hard pronounced name, Piscophoca, a seal, Choristocetus, a small sperm whale, the short thin mako shark, the sand tiger shark, Acrophoca longarostris, a monk seal, and a species of eagle ray. Yeah? Well, enjoy that this latest video. I'm trying to put this on out time for Shark Week since the video is about an extinct shark. Well, I hope the next one doesn't take an insanely long time to upload this one did. I think this one took almost three weeks.